Well, then you have a beautiful performance there by the Kufifi Dance Group from Hubetswana location here in Clarence. That is where we come into your life from this morning. It is in the Eastern Free State. I bet it's very cold this morning. It's actually freezing. I can barely feel uh, my own toes, but I must say that, uh, like Paul was showing you some pictures, we they had a snowfall in the area. We drove via Kwakwa yesterday afternoon into the Golden Gate, and the mountains are covered in snow. It's a very beautiful uh, view uh, for you. Well, we live from Clarence. This is part of the Morning Live Road Shows, the, where we're going through the provinces here in the country. We've been to the Kaiser Den. Last week we were in the Western Cape. We've been to the uh, the Western, the Eastern Cape as well. So this week we are here in the Free State. Well, Clarence is a plain dorpy. Uh, I must uh, tell you, with just a population of about seven thousand nine hundred and five people uh, and like one thousand nine hundred and seventy five uh, families living in this area, and ninety five percent of the people living here, they are in Hubetwana, which is the location of this area. So it's mainly black people living here with just about 5% of white people in the area. So this small town, the only activity taking place in this area is tourism. I do know that most of our, of our viewers will identify with the area because it's mainly known for uh, its tourism attraction. There are so many facilities in the area. So you should you know, visit the place on the weekend and Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. It's always buzzing in this area. But the economic part of things we will dwell into later on here on morning life but just to get a perspective as to where Clarence comes from because Clarence is actually one place in Switzerland so this place here was named after Clarence the one in Switzerland but with me here is Ndade Neil Mutalipula van Skalbe he is a farmer in the area and he's an historian if one can say he knows better as to where Clarence comes from Ndade good morning to you eh Mutalipula or Lipula and it's so cold this morning unbelievable cold for this time of the year and you were telling me that it's, you know, the snowfall all over your farm. Well, yes, virtually, especially on the higher parts. Okay. Now, Clarence, the place was actually established back in 1912. Just give us a little bit background into the area, because I know that uh, in early history, Emma, going back to Mantatisi and so on. Well, Mantatisi, we're going back to about 1785 when she was in this area and about right up to 1820. Okay, so when was the place uh, established? In, 19, in 1912, I believe. Yeah, in 1912, Clarence was proclaimed a, a village, as well as, funnily enough, very interesting that uh, Tannik simultaneously went down. That's one why this one huge big rock, as you go out of town here towards Bethlehem, still up till this day known as the Titanic. It's got the same shape as the ship that went down. And Clarence is about, what, 20 kilometers from the Golden Gate? No, yeah, 20 to 22 kilometers from Golden Gate. And uh, when was Golden Gate established? About 1965 in that area. And what actually brought in tourists immediately after that was with the proclamation of Golden Gate that the roads were started to be tarred. So access for the ordinary tourists became more easy. And there's so much history here in, in Clarence. I was also reading about uh, the cannibal cave, Lehahala Madimo. What was actually happening at Kalahalu? Well, actually, it is a cave of fertility. And that is normally where in the olden days the women went to whenever they wanted to bear children. And it is still up till this day to a specific uh, extent the same story still. In the Sabetsa Lohana Jwale, Ben Tsibaya haba batwa ba le batwa. Sabetsa mo lebe me ka o fela ka nako e. Hape hape ho na le eng mo history ya sebaka seo ka go qoqela nka. Matshwao le mangwa po a di bushman a ba rwa ba gale gale ho ane ka o fela sebakeng sena hape le if we go back to the iron age time. As much many relics of that time are still in the area. And uh, one other uh, issue that you were mentioning to us yesterday is that the place used to be very muddy back then. Oh, yes, especially the street where we're standing right now in front of the hotel. Okay, this is the main street, I believe. That's the main street. It used to be just a dirt road going up here. And whenever it rained, not even as much as now, you couldn't get up there with an ordinary car. And there was an old gentleman here who made a living of towing people up here with his pan of oxen to the top of the hill. And, and he used to make money out of that. That was, yes, he didn't do it for free. 
But let's uh, quickly let, let's just talk about the pre preservance of, of, of the historic, uh, you know, uh, perspective of things in this area. Is the history of Clarence uh, preserved as much as you think it should? There are many people busy with that at that sta at this specific stage, especially the lady we talked about, Queen Mantantisi. And there's a lot of people now doing research on towards her time from her existence and the cooperation between her and Shaka and the past of the country. Fella bana ba ba tse ba ka history mo. Ba da ba itsa wang me. Ba tse ba ka history mo bana ba ba mo tlerens. Bana ha ba itse be handle ta wai. Ya bona bona ba ga ta she ba pili fela ba sa ra ta she ba mra. Ki ta ba tse ba tshwantseng di hopola tsa gale. Ya bona di afeta ho bo. Ene ho bo tlhoko tse ba mo tswang tse bo tse ba mo ya. E ha o sna le tsa tsila ma bana la o sa ne ke bela Thank you so much. I actually uh, spoke so to, to just to, to show our viewers that that's the free state for you. So many languages on spot my Afrikaans and the face that Kabuasa is so to and we speak English. Thank you very much and uh, may you go well. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And that there you have it. That's uh, Neil van Skalkweg, one of the farmers here that he, he knows uh, the history of the area better as he explained to us as to when the place was established and all the activities that are in this area. What, we're taking a break. Uh, I think I don't know if you're able to see the beautiful view of the mountainous area just behind. Yeah, it's yeah, it's starting to clear now. So you can look at the mountain. It's, it's beautiful. We drove through the Golden Gate yesterday. It was beautiful. Uh, we sent some pictures to the studio. I think they will be showing the pictures of the snow and everything, the mountainous area, it's beautiful to be here. It's just what, 80 kilometers to home, so I'm quite familiar with, with the place, but I'm not necessarily uh, quite familiar with the cold coming out of this free state province. So we're taking a break, Money Life continues to stay tuned.